the, the coach actually hit him and was like, come on, guys, Camille is yeah. up. And KSV have pretty much drafted the blind pick strongest comp you can on patch 8.2 with Rian. The new side, so Aftershock not opted in for. Fleet Footwork would be aggressive. And speaking of aggression... Yeah, we got an engaged down in the bottom lane. Didn't see the entirety of that, but first blood. Vision is denied. We got a level 6 ambition. There's no flash. They can slow him down. Stopwatch will save him for now. But can he actually get away? That's Sejuani passive coming in. One more hit, and that's going to do it. Ambition picks it up. We got a TP coming in, as well as Songwon. This will be Lava, I believe. Does get the trouble bubble here onto Core JJ. The taunt on in and the flag and drag will mean that that kill is coming in. Cat Cataclysm onto Ruler now, who's only level five, doesn't have his ultimate available. Lava looking for the paddle star at this point. Trouble bubble onto the Sejuani. A little bit more burst. Nice little push up in the top side. A TP coming in from Sangyun up to top lane. Lava does flash away from the Sejuani ulti. Them getting that red buff, but KSV have their sights. Oh, Elsewhere, down in the bottom lane. And they had their sights on Ruler getting a massive farm lead over Sangyu, who's teleported out of lane to provide coverage. They take objectives. This is where KSV have looked strongest when they've been able to do this with this roster. It's when Ambition falls behind or the bot lane falls behind uh, in a severe fashion. They're not able to end laning phase. That's where KSV actually looks vulnerable. Ambition famously not going to make a lot happen when it comes to proactive ganks, more of a farming. And as it's against the global as well, but Talia's top side, so he feels safer. Down here, and the ult comes in. Look at that. He's Who needs get wards? A solo kill, Linderong. Drake oh. handed over to the side of KSV. Lane assignments are more tricky. We're gonna have to see more of grouping. Core JJ things. blowing the quickness. So oh, nice trouble bubble here. Core JJ and a flank from Songwon. He's looking for it. The three man cataclysm. Everybody's good now. Oh. But look at Linderong with the engage. Gets two of them caught up in a real bad situation. Easy double kill for Shen. The carry Shen coming through 3-0. and oh. Not but respected by KSV. Both carries deleted in an instant. And Rox Tigers is going to push up mid. That was so fantastic. And it all started, too, because of the trouble bubble by La Lava making, uh, I think it was Crown or Ruler, very, very low to start that off, giving them the confidence to go for a play as aggressive as that. I think that's the Nara ultimate's going to take you down, but that's what happened in that particular scenario. Lava in an awkward spot here. Doesn't have his flash. He's going to be brought back. Nice little uh, play there by three members of KSV. And Core JJ has the cleanse, so he can play make into the trouble bubble in particular. Ooh, missing the stun from the hook shot. It's two on one now. It uh, is four on one. Hidden ability. Yeah. There we go. Uh, they did it. <laughs> Baron. <laughs> And you can do it when you've got Zoe on your team. They're going to lock down Ambition. There it is, into the Flag and Drag, into the Chain of Corruption. Never-ending CC gets them a kill on the most yes, speed. They do want to challenge this. The Smite comes in, and it goes over to Ambition. Give it even locking down someone. As Respectful. There's a lot of pick CC here from Rox. He's going to get caught out again. A desperate ultimate coming in. But again, there's so much CC. A big knock up there with the grand entrance. But at the same time, can they do it? All that healthy here, Rox. Even the Zoe getting low. The Weaver's Wall coming in. It is going to be five members of Rox, though. They want to get them off. It's going to be close. Trying to dive in. The Smite is going to get it, but they get a kill. Onto the Jarvan. Looking for Linderong, though. Well, can clean this up. Camille getting low. The taunt in. This is so close. They're going to get down. The Zaya just at the end of it. Sangyun on very very low health, but the Shen ultimate helping him out here. Crown on full health, though. He's looking to take out these members in the pit alone. The Chain of Corruption comes in. Nice cleanse. And now with Ambition coming in, should be a good cleanup. We have TP on the right side. Can he help out? It is Linderong, one of the most farmed up members on the team. Level 16, the Tyron, so they can play mid and bot lane pretty safely. He doesn't have ultimate, so he's grouped. And looking to break the base here, our Rox Tigers. So many minions down here. A lot of them are ranged, though, so they can clear them out relatively quickly. Decent amount of wave clear as well. You look at Zaya and the Talia just clearing wave after wave together as a team. Star underneath, but the shields are never ending. It's not going to be enough, though, to keep them alive. Songwon is going to trade, but they get the AD carry out of the fight, and that means that at least the turret is going to go down. Yeah, smart timing. QV didn't have teleport up, wasn't able to be there. The mass wave clear outside the Talia is gone. 
Upside is one the inhibitor. It's so low. Lava's such a beast on the Zoe, man. He is hitting nearly everything. Gets crown up. They pick up the double MVP on the Rengar. Oh, so good. Lava knows all the angles, man. Geometry master on the Zoe. You can see what someone and Lava were trying to do there. Just bait him out with the uh, flag and drag and then have him run into the trouble bubble. KSV, Cuvee has been absent for the majority of these sieges. He's up there now. Look for the Weaver's Wall coming in from the bottom. They want Sangyun, gonna be jumped upon by the Hedgeneck Ultimatum, but it's not enough. Fantastic Cataclysm on the right side by Songwon. Traps down three, and now we got Linderong trying to go ham. Keep an eye, though, on Ruler, who does just disappear. Don't keep an eye on him, he's gone. He going a little bit far into the base, but actually opening up another opportunity for Lava, and he even stays alive. Linderong comes out of nowhere on the right side. They're looking to take them all down. Down. They're looking for the end of the game. This should be it, guys. Unbelievable. Rocks Tigers looking to kick game number one against KSV. They're going to take down this last turret and the Nexus. A very fiery, aggressive game from Rocks, and they do it. And Rocks Tigers get the maximum value out of their playmaking in the early game, and then the decision making around fights. Every time the paddle style registered, they got the kill. It